Hello everyone, my name is Kirill. You are on the Audio Advisor channel. So today we will talk about what a Lambda snack is. I must remind you that there is a so-called Lambda probe or Lambda or oxygen sensor in the car. This is a sensor that measures the residual oxygen content in the exhaust gases. It is installed in the exhaust pipe and as close as possible to the engine. And now you could ask, why measure the oxygen percentage in the exhaust gases? To prepare the fuel-air mixture, a certain amount of air or oxygen and a certain amount of fuel are acquired. When these proportions are balanced correctly, then all the fuel-air mixture burns out and turns into exhaust gases. So, if there is an increased oxygen content in the exhaust gases, this means that the air-fuel mixture was prepared incorrectly, and some adjustment must be made to its preparation. In other words, the Lambda probe is a very important sensor that participates in the control system of your engine, that is, it sends a signal to the ECU and then the engine, based on the information from the sensor, correctly prepares the air-fuel mixture. By the way, why am I telling you all this? In fact, we have a very detailed video on our channel, where we talk about oxygen sensor. You just need to type a Lambda probe in a search engine and watch it. To be more precise, on modern cars there is not one Lambda probe, but as many as two Lambda probes. And the second Lambda probe are installed after the catalyst. A catalyst is a device that burns exhaust gases to meet environmental standards, like Euro 5, Euro 4 and so on. Oxygen is also involved in the operation of the catalyst, and so it is precisely the second lambda probe which measures the oxygen content after all these chemical reactions have passed, which is generally responsible for the correct operation of the catalyst. It may seem that we have a lot of references in this video, but we also have a detailed video about how the catalyst works. The link will be in the description. By the way, if you need to buy a new Lambda probe or any other part of it for your car, go to the outeroster.buy. The link will be in the description. We also have a delivery to different countries. And returning to the topic, we have two Lambda probes, first and second, between which a catalyst is installed. So, as I said, over time, the catalyst fails and for good, of course, you need to buy a new catalyst. But the problem is that it is quite expensive, about $700. And in the Eastern European countries, it is common to simply remove it, and when they remove it, it is necessary to somehow deceive the second lambda sensor. That is, not quite deceive the lambda sensor itself, but to deceive the engine control unit that the catalyst is working and to make it seems like the catalyst is still in the car. It is for this reason that the so-called lambda simulator or snag is needed. The main symptom that the catalyst is no longer working would be an error sign on the dashboard. This error icon is initiated by the second lambda probe itself, and the second symptom would be a decrease in the power of your engine. Lambda snags can be divided into two groups, mechanical and electrical. The simple ones, of course, are mechanical. They also have a couple of varieties. The first of them is a nozzle that is put directly on the lambda probe. The purpose of this nozzle is to limit the flow of exhaust gases to the sensor itself. Since there is a small hole, then only part of the exhaust gases enters inside it and the sensor thinks that these gases already comply with environmental standards, as it's like the catalyst burns them out. This type of lambda simulator with a hole is not suitable for all cars. It all depends on the standards according to which the car engine is made, and also on the Euro 2, 3, 4 and 5 standards. So this nozzle with a hole cannot deceive all engines. In some cases it works well, and in some it does not work at all. But there is a second and more advanced type of mechanical lambda emulator. It is also a nozzle that is put on a lambda probe. But this is not just to restrict the airflow. 
Inside the nozzle, there is a catalyst, like a real catalyst, which fully fulfills its function. But not for all exhaust gases, but only for a small part of the exhaust gases that enter the sensor itself. Allegedly, we have a large catalyst, but in fact, all gases do not meet the environmental standards, and this type of lambda snack with a catalyst has a big disadvantage. The fact is that a small catalyst fails very quickly and loses its properties. That is, it stops working, and this happens after about 80,000 kilometers. And again the question of how to deceive the system arises. Let's look at electric lambda snacks. There are also several types. The simplest case, kind of homemade, is when the wires that go from the engine to the sensor are cut and some elements are soldered right into the circuit. If I remember right, a resistor and a capacitor. They supposedly should emulate the correct operation of the sensor. But again, this is not good at all, since the engine will work in one mode and not in the optimal mode depending on the information from all the sensors. The second type of electric lambda emulator is a more advanced device already with a microcontroller. That is, there is already some kind of logic inside that already specifically mirrors how this lambda prop works. This device is getting connected to the control unit. There are certain algorithms which are kinda complicated. I think that no one needs to explain that this electrical device with a microcontroller is more expensive than all previous types of lambda snacks. In addition to all these lambda emulators, there is another way just reprogramming the engine electronic control unit and to lower the standard to the Uber 2 level, for example. And in this case, the engine does not need a catalyst at all, it thinks that is not in the system at all. This is the most dangerous way, since you interfere with the engine control systems, you violate the factory settings, and all this can lead to some disastrous results. Therefore, I believe that all these lambda snacks are relics of the past. If you do not care about the environment, think about your car, because all these frauds can simply break it. In general, this is all that I wanted to say on this topic. I hope this video was useful for you, and leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to our channels. All the best to you and see you soon.